Shalom family. So let's talk Prigozhin. Okay, and I've already said there's a very good chance this man is still alive because he had a lot of people change their names to his name and go on flights as him. So there's also another plane that was flying that wasn't shot down that also belonged to Wagner. Who knows? The way this world works and the way things just go strangely weird and, and disappear into cracks, I am pretty much leaning towards Prigozhin is alive and well, probably chilling with Putin and having a good giggle about what they're going to do next. But that's just one option. Let's look at these articles and uh, you can see some sort of a pattern going on here. pro Kiev Russians are urging Wagner Group to revenge Prigozhin's death. Because, you yeah, know, why well, miss this opportunity? A group of Russian militants that fight on the Ukrainian side called on the Wagner Group of mercenaries to switch sides and join their ranks to revenge the deaths of the Wagner founder Yevgeny Prigozhin and the commander Dmitry Utkin. Russian air authorities said Prigozhin, Utkin and eight other people were on the plane that crashed with no survivors. You are facing a serious choice now. You can stand in a stall of Russia's defense ministry and serve as watchdogs for executors of your commanders or you can take revenge. Commander of the Russian Volunteer Corps Denis Kapustin in a video address on Thursday. So again, as if Ukraine had any love lost for Prigozhin or Wagner in the first place. But again, why waste the opportunity of maybe getting them to switch sides? Then Putin denies involvement in the death of Wagner Group leader. President Putin commented on the death of Yevgeny Prigozhin. He made serious mistakes in life, but he achieved the right results. Russian President Putin on Thursday expressed his condolences over the plane crash that killed the Wagner Group chief Prigozhin, but denied he was behind the death. First of all, I want to express words of sincere condolences to the families of the victims. I knew Prigozhin for a long time since the 90s. He was a man of complicated fate and he made serious mistakes in his life, but he achieved the right results, Putin said. On the crash itself, the Russian president said the investigation was underway, but would take some time, obviously. And then finally, this rolls out. Putin signs a law into effect, forcing Wagner fighters to swear oath. Putin spokesman Dmitry Peskov told reporters on Friday that in a legal sense, the Wagner group no longer exists. This came as he announced the new presidential decree signed by Putin on the same day, which stipulates all Russian paramilitary fighters are required to swear an oath to the Russian flag and the nation. Fighters, including Wagner, must pledge their loyalty to the Russian Federation, strictly follow their commander's and superior's orders, and conscientiously fulfill their obligations, it says in the decree. Alexander Lukashenko, a close ally of Putin, the Belarusian president, said that he believed the plane crash, this is interesting, was just too rough and unprofessional a job for this Russian leader to be involved. I know Putin. He is calculating, calm, even tardy, Lukashenko said. I cannot imagine that Putin did it, that Putin is to blame. He's also... Belarusian president said to the Wagner, Prigozhin, that he should be careful because he's crossed Putin. Now he's saying Putin definitely couldn't have done it. So there's a lot of pulling from either side. There's a lot of blame game. The West is not missing the opportunity to get in on it as well, which I mean, I would have done too. And everyone's trying to just come to some sort of a how can this affect the bigger picture situation? And that's what we're all waiting to see now. And again, maybe Prigozhin has gone back to being a chef because he used to chef for Putin. Maybe they're sitting there together at the Kremlin having a good giggle. Who knows? Maybe he's gone underground if he had half a brain after he crossed Putin and he staged his whole death and he's still in Africa. Maybe he's in Niger because Niger's carrying on with all that chaos and kicking the French out and all sorts of crazy things. Maybe. There's so many options here. It's hilarious. It's almost like, you know, 
people are going to forget about this very soon as other things come to the fore. Kind of like they also forgot that uh, other things that came out in the media suddenly just disappeared quietly. Like Epstein and his list of powerful people all involved in very sick and twisted things. That's just gone. No one's talking about that. No one's looking into those accusations. Nicely swept away while the world looks elsewhere. There's always a manipulation and making people look at things they want you to look at while they move things they don't want you to look at out of the way. Maybe the Prigozhin situation is something like that. Interesting to watch. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.